Well, it's another beautiful day in central PA. Look at that. Low clouds, mist and rain, rained pretty much since uh, noon yesterday. Rained all pretty much all night and it's quit here this morning. Uh, I tell you, this weather sucks ass. <laughs> so, well, I got some barn work to do this morning. I got to clean out some uh, chicken, chicken shit, unfortunately. So, I don't know if I'll show any of that. It's kind of like redundant and nobody wants to see, see me shoveling chicken shit. So, <laughs> all right. I'll uh I'll catch up with it. I gotta move this pile of crap to clean this up and oh my god. Alright, I'll be back. <laughs>
So I cleaned this out. Um, it was all from the other chicken. So what I did was I shoveled this all out. I put my lime down like I normally do. And then I put some hay in here for these guys. We got feeders. We got waterers. And then this is where they were. Um, I'm not going to clean this out. I put some lime down to dry it up, kill the stink, hopefully. Uh, these guys are honestly probably two weeks from, from butcher. And so they are not going outside. Uh, number one, I don't have enough ch chicken tractors with... Let me get that out of the light. Huh. Enough chicken tractors with um, with the uh, the turkeys in the foray now. So I had to had to separate the turkeys into another another tractor because we have a couple females, and I guess they're all coming of age. So we had to separate get the females out of. There, so we have three tractors of turkeys right now, and uh, and the other thing is, after this weekend, I believe, maybe Tuesday. I mean, our our weather is due to drastically change. Uh, we're gonna we have we're gonna have highs in the low 50s and high 40s. And, you know, it's going down into the 40 and then high 30s at night. And I'd much rather have these chickens in here um, so they have a chance to stay warm and don't use their use all this feed to try to stay warm at night. Um, use the feed to put weight on. So you know, I can always uh, you can't see down there with that light going, but you can always close the I can close that end window when it gets cold at night and uh, there's no wind in here for them to have to sh uh, shelter against they're always in the dry so I just think this is uh for us you know this last batch this is the last batch of chickens for this season so we won't be doing chickens now till March again so all right well I'm gonna end this part of the video here anyways um, I'm done down here. Get the hell out of this place. Alright. Talk to you later. So here's the turkey. The uh, hens. I moved these guys. Or girls. Um, moved them the other day. Two days ago. Not yesterday. The day before. Something like that. Yeah. The day before. Wednesday. Yeah. So. At least they don't get raped. But and you know, take these guys out, and gives the other ones a little, or these girls out, and gives them a little more room in the other ones. So okay, on to the next. Well, it's, um, a pink. So I was up here. I harvested most of these this morning. Uh, they were ready to go. I still have these guys here coming. So I'll have another harvest out of them. And nothing on the yellows so far. I haven't seen any penning yet. The snow oyster. I'm really not sh sure what the hell these things look like. I don't know. It looks like snow to me, but I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. Let me go online and look or something. Uh, the blues. These two are penning. So, I'm hoping that I will at least get these for tomorrow morning so I can have them to go with me.
to the market. It's the last market in or tomorrow, so I'm hoping that that will be um, ready to go, which I think it will be. So, all right. Well, like I said, I don't know if anybody out there knows what in the hell these things are supposed to look like. Let me know. But okay. That's my mushroom update.